Abby exemplifies all of the qualities a Dauburn Education Award recipient is to possess. She inspires young people to set educational goals, encourages students to reach their full potential, and fosters a lifelong appreciation of learning in our youth. By building relationships with students, their love for learning will grow as they connect to their school community. She has led math committees, overseen math family nights, worked with gifted and talented and STEAM programs, volunteered with Young Lives, Night to Shine, and the Maddie Project, and the list could go on and on. Abby is a beautiful human being and possesses every characteristic of what brings help and hope to our world. From the day I met her, I have watched her educate, support, and encourage children of all ages to know their potential, and she helps them strive to achieve their potential. She, um, she helps us with their work sometimes, and she comes in in the evenings. She is nice to all of the kids in the whole school, and she helps some of them with their work if they don't get it right. Her passion for children and education, coupled with her ability to see and take action where improvements can be made to increase the opportunities given to children to excel in education and life skills, are why I believe she is deserving of the Dauburn Education Award. I nominated Dane Barr for the Dauburn Award for the many ways that he enriches the lives of his students. If the walls of the classroom need to open up, then he opens them and he goes to where science is taking place, whether it be in the outdoor classroom that he built or to the nearby mountains. It's important to him that students understand that learning opportunities are all around them. You will not find a student or parent or a colleague for that matter who doesn't use words like kindness, compassionate, genuine, role model, or father figure when asked to describe him. He makes the effort to connect to each of his students and know them as individuals with unique gifts and talents. And if a student presents a challenge, he works that much harder to reach them. He doesn't give up on any student, and he knows how to change his approach to meet students where they are. I'm a senior at Wilson Memorial High School, and Mr. Barr has been my teacher for two of my four years here. I have never met a more caring, understanding, and charismatic teacher than Mr. Barr. I have fond memories of my freshman year. He was my first class, and he always made my morning better with his uplifting attitude and fun lessons each day. Fast forward to now, I have him again and the spark has never left. He's always happy to explain when we don't understand and he pulls us in when he teaches. Not only do I know him as an outstanding teacher, but I also know him as an active member of school activities. Mr. Barr is a man of many great qualities and is more than deserving of this reward. I can think of no finer educator to recognize in this way than Mr. Dane Barr. Charmaine is an aide, but she does more for the students in this building than I think virtually any teacher or counselor or administrator uh, can do because she has a class, classes full of students who are uh, considered to be at risk. And she works with them to help them not only attain graduation, which they mostly do under her, but also to attain self-esteem. She makes them realize that they can do, and she also gives them the feeling that rules matter in her room as opposed to in somebody else's room where they, they figure out ways to break all the rules. I think that Ms. Cup goes above and beyond for students who she sees potential in, especially for kids that are more on the trouble side. So they typically go to Ms. Cup because she's one to talk to them about their issues or try and get them through, or if she knows that they're struggling in school, she'll take them into her classroom and just try to get them to pass. 
She's very firm, but she's extremely caring and loving. But as somebody who will also make sure that all their math is done, all their history is done, all their graduation requirements are done, the kids really and truly love her. In the middle of the day when they're not in her room anymore and they say, hey, I want a cup hug. And they go up to her and she gives them a cup hug because they were having a bad moment somewhere. And it helps. She's just absolutely wonderful. I'm glad to see that she got recognized for it. Thank you, Ms. Cup, for always helping me and being around when I need you and giving me advice. Me and Tara love you bunches, and I'm very proud of you. She lets us do this fun, like all these fun things. Like in third grade, we did 3D coding. We did this drone stuff for pollination, where we made flowers from art and did, and did this fun drone. She really, she loves to let us do these kinds of things, and she works really hard on these programs to make sure that we are engaged with this kind of tech. She's special because she lets us do all kinds of fun projects. A lot of drones and robotics and it's really fun. I think Miss Her is such a great teacher because she gives us special privileges and doesn't hesitate to teach us new things in the process. You know I think of amazing teachers that I've run across in my career and a few stand out. One of those being Jessica Her. About a month ago we had a new student. Jessica quickly realized that she needed to reach out. That first week, Jessica connected with her family and picked up the student, took her on the Saturday to the STEM project activity, and then took her home. That child has had a different experience at McSwain because of Jessica. She's willing to reach out because she knows that teachers have that gift of touching lives. I really think Jessica embodies what Mr. Dauburn wanted to highlight, and that is a teacher who goes above and beyond. But at the end of the day, it's her love for children and her love for learning. Elsa Kaiser is one of the most caring and selfless people I've ever met. She does so much good for so many without hesitation. Her main job is the ESL parent liaison for Augusta County Public Schools. She's the connection between home and school for our Hispanic students and families. She continues to help students even after graduation, whether it be for further education or to find jobs. Her energy is contagious and she never complains. She has a kind, beautiful, and caring soul. She's loved by so many and has touched so many lives. Elsa works with our immigrant families to help them find affordable housing, even helping them with furnishings for their homes, such as beds, desks, tables and chairs, dishes, blankets, whatever they might need. She wants to make sure living conditions for these families are substantial so that the children can go to school and focus on their education and not be worried about what's going on at home. She has gotten plumbers to fix leaky pipes, contractors to repair roofs, friends to help paint insides of homes, and even helped a family get their vehicle up and running. Elsa has used her own resources, coordinated donations from family and friends, and gone to great lengths to provide needed items for a family. I recently learned about a dumpster diving situation to obtain a discarded but perfectly usable item. Elsa is a mentor to our families, a matriarch to those who have no family, a support system for families that lack that framework. She's an advisor, a provider, but most importantly, she's a friend to so many. Sue's doing what she was always meant to do. She always wanted to be a teacher. She always wanted to be a coach. 
and she's living out that life and I see the students who um, benefit. I've seen the students who've benefited for, for 40 years from uh, a teacher and a coach who cares about them as individuals and not just as statistics. She cares about the entire student and she's always quick to say that it's a student athlete. It's the, it's the classroom and the, the lifetime of, of the lifelong learning skills that she's teaching them that's most important and she, she worries about them and it's the reason the students keep in touch with her uh, decades later. Students who are almost as old as she is come back and get in touch with her, make her their godparent, or, you know, the godparent for their children, uh, come to, uh, she's always invited to their weddings and, and uh, other life events so they care about her as a person and she's, she teaches them so much. Coach Leonard is special because she's a really fun person to be around and is a really thoughtful person who cares for everyone around her. Coach Leonard just always has such a great attitude about everything and she's always positive and really encouraging to all of us and she's one of the sweetest people I've ever met and she's so funny. Being a teacher and a coach is a life choice for Sue. It's not, it's not a, a job. Sue is reflected in her students and her players and they are a reflection of her lifelong dedication to, to creating the next generation of, um, of our wonderful communities here and, and everywhere she's been. That's, that's what she does is she creates the next generation and molds the next generation and I think we're all luckier for that. My name is CJ Hill and I have the privilege of co-teaching a language arts and world study class with Christina Lotz. She's the kind of teacher who has extra snacks. She's the kind of teacher whose door is always open. She's the kind of teacher who's willing to go the extra mile for her students. One of the things that I think makes Christina so special is that she's able to take her students out of their world. She's able to give them experiences that they wouldn't have in a regular classroom. She uses technology and her expertise to take kids digitally all around the world. Her World Studies class is not a textbook, it's not a curriculum but it's a chance for kids to understand the world around them and their place in it. And for a teacher to be able to share that with a young person at this time in their life is incredible. Okay, so something I enjoy about Miss Lotz is that she's not just like a teacher, like she'll ask me how my day is going and see if I'm okay and because she kind of cracks jokes sometimes. And the way she teaches, I really enjoy how she teaches. I think that Christina is special because she opens up her heart to these students every single day and goes above and beyond to give them not only what they need academically in the classroom, but she sees what they need in their lives as a whole. It's an honor to be her colleague and it's a privilege to see her work every day with some amazing young students. She's an inspiration to me and she's a lifesaver of an educator. I'm proud to work with her and know her and it's been a privilege to help nominate her for this award. Dante is an amazing State and City Schools teacher. He was our 2017-2018 State and City Schools uh, Teacher of the Year. And so he brings a lot of special talents to Stanton, both for his students and for the parents. One of the things that makes Dante a great representative for the Dauburn Ward is the respect that he shows to his students each and every day. Respect is something that you're gonna definitely find in his classroom. You're gonna definitely find that in all that he does. Um, he's an amazing person and we're so proud that he's receiving this recognition. Uh, one of the things that makes Dante so special is that he really believes in the power of relationships. He, you can see Dante any time in the spring uh, attending uh, games for his kids or his, that his students participate in, um, basketball games, baseball games, football games. He sponsors after school clubs. Uh, he does the running club. There's a banquet at the end. Um, he's always sure to uh, focus on the support that the parents are giving him. Um, 
He's just a, a wonderful person who clearly loves working with kids. He is selfless. He is determined. He is, he's just awesome. I really kind of realized that Mr. Terry was kind of a different sort of teacher when I had him freshman year for world history and geography because up until that point I'd had teachers who taught us how to memorize information and put it back out on the SOL or on a test but Mr. Terry always asked for more than that. He actually wanted us to think about why things happen, not just talk about when something happened. He was always more concerned with why we think the way we do and, and really challenged us to think about why we think about things and how we approach different problems. Um, and it really, it really kind of changed how I thought about learning. And he was always so energetic in class and just brought us together to really think about whatever it was that day. We would end up on some tangent. We would have these fantastic debates in class, but Mr. Terry would just, he would let it happen. He would let it evolve and he would occasionally interject and add in questions that made us think more. And by the end, we actually felt like we were learning something, learning not just how to recite information, but how to actually think for ourselves. So I nominated Mr. Terry because I think that he is an outstanding teacher. He is an excellent mentor. He's been an excellent mentor and friend to me. And I don't, I don't know what uh, Stanton High School or Robert E. Lee High School would do without him. The way that he just brings this real passion to teaching and to learning is just incredible. Mrs. Williamson puts as much if more effort and investment in her kids and the relationships that she builds with her students as she does with regard to her content and her teaching. You, like, no matter how early it was in the morning, she always had a smile on her face even if she had a bad morning. You walked in there and she was telling jokes and it just made everybody's morning overall just better. I could count many examples of, of her picking students up in the mornings because they couldn't get a ride to school, uh, they missed the bus, they couldn't get a ride, or they didn't, or the many times she has bought breakfast for students because they didn't have breakfast at home. She has, she has made me have a love for math. I used to not like math, I used to struggle, and she would take her time out and help us, and I just appreciate that. I used to hate math, like I used to, math used to be like the most worst subject of my whole entire life. I don't know, just her teaching just, she teaches it so fun and so like how every kid wants it. And she'll sit down with you and teach it slow if you need to. Some kids don't like staying after class, but she would make it fun, like it was, it was always fun with her and it was always something you wanted to do. It was always, you never wanted to skip class. You never wanted to be late for school. You never wanted to miss school. That class is something that you always wanted to be at. It, you never wanted to miss it. That's that's. It was amazing. I love that class.